As you can see, I'm using Optifine in Minecraft 1.20.4 using Forge. This is the Forge version. I'm going to teach you how to use Optifine and Forge together at the same time in Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's get started. Now, the step number one to get Optifine 1.20.4 working with Forge is to download and install Forge. To download and install Forge, all you have to do is click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to actually download and install Forge. Feel free to read through the guide, but I'm just going to guide you through the guide to do it super quick. All you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. If you were to have any question, of course, you could read through this. But let's go ahead and click on this button. That redirect you to the Forge website where you're going to look for Minecraft 1.20.4 here on the side. Go ahead and click on it and then go ahead and click where it says installer. That'll bring you to this page where after five seconds you get a button labeled as a skip here on the top. Now mine went ahead and came up right away but for you it's probably going to take five seconds. Go ahead and click on a skip and that'll begin the download for Forge or the installer for Forge. Once we downloaded Forge I want you to go ahead and drag and drop Forge the installer to your desktop okay. So just go ahead and wait for it to download. If you're using Chrome you can find it here in your recent download history. If you're using any other browser, you could probably find it somewhere around the screen or you could always find this file in your downloads folder and then go ahead and put it in your desktop. Just like we did right here, we now have Forge, at least the installer, in our desktop. Now the next step is to download Optifine. So to download Optifine, click on the third link in the description, which you guessed it, is our written guide. Again, it's an in-depth guide on how to install Optifine and how to download it. But in this case, I wouldn't recommend that you read through this guide because this is how to install Optifine by itself. And I'm actually going to teach you how to install Optifine with Forge. So go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download Optifine here. That'll redirect you to the Optifine website where you're going to download the 1.20.4. Now, if you were to see a download button in here, just go ahead and click download right away. But since we don't see that download button in here for Minecraft 1.20.4, we're going to have to click where it says preview versions. And that is going to bring the most recent versions of Optifine up to the screen. For this specific video, we're going to download the one that says pre 3. OK, but if you're watching this in the future, you might have to download the pre-release 4, 5 or maybe the full version. OK, just make sure that it is Forge compatible because a lot of you can get Optifine to work with Forge because you're downloading a Forge not applicable or a non-compatible version. So so once you located the right Optifine, go ahead and click on mirror if you want to skip the ad or click on download if you want to watch the ad and support Optifine and then download the file. I'm going to go ahead and click mirror in this case just to make the tutorial faster. Once you're over here, go ahead and click on download again and that will begin the download for Optifine right away. And just like we did with the Forge installer, once we have that file, let's go ahead and put it into our desktop. Now we have everything we need to start installing Forge and Optifine together. Feel free to download shaders or anything like that if you want to try shaders with Optifine right now. I'm not going to download shaders and the reason I'm not going to download shaders is because I don't want to make this tutorial longer than it needs to be. But of course, you could use shaders with Optifine. As a matter of fact, I already have some shaders installed that are going to work with Optifine. But again, I'm not going to download shaders so I don't make the tutorial extra long. What you're going to do next is install Forge 1.20.4. To install Forge 1.20.4, make sure your Minecraft game and your Minecraft launcher are completely closed. And then just go ahead and launch it. Double click on it and that will open the installer for Forge. If you were to get any issues trying to launch the installer for Forge, because I have gotten comments in the past saying that your Forge installer doesn't open, that's probably because you don't have an updated version of Java. Java is going to let you open this type of files. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about a software called Java, which allows you to open jar files like this file right here is a jar file. I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java. So you will see this guide in the description. You might also have to run a jar fix after you install Java 17. Running a jar fix is super simple and super fast and it will fix all those jar files that you have like this one that are not opening okay that's for those of you that have issues opening the installer but i'm assuming most of you won't have any issues and all you have to do once you open the forge installer is click on install client and then click on ok and just wait for Forge to install now. And while Forge is installing, I have to let you know real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, Apex Hosting is here for you. They offer a Java and a Bedrock server. They offer servers that have all the customization that you could imagine, like adding more than 200 mod packs if you want, with just one click. Okay, that's crazy. They also have 24 seven support. And of course, this is an online hosted server, so you don't have to pour forward your IP address and you don't have to put your computer or your information at risk by using your IP address for people to join. So yeah, use the first link in the description, get 25% off. And once that's said, let's check on Forge. And as we can see, Forge has successfully installed. As you can see, it says successful install. Go ahead and click on OK. And now you could delete the Forge installer as well as this little text document that you get on the desktop. This is just the installer log letting us know that everything is installed properly. Now we only have Optifine left. What's the next step? Well, first, you're going to open your Minecraft launcher. Just go ahead and click on your Minecraft launcher. And let's go ahead and wait for this to open. And if we install Forge properly, we should see Forge selected here automatically. Now, mine wasn't selected automatically because I already had Forge installed in the past. But if this is the first time you're installing Forge, you will have it here like this just when you open your Minecraft launcher. Now, the next step is to add Optifine to Forge. And in order to do that, you're going to head over to installations. 
you're gonna make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected you won't see forge in here now if modded is selected and you don't see forge go ahead and click on new installation find forge here within the versions as you can see it's the release 1.20.4 forge name this whatever you want click create and then you will have a forge instance but most of you will see forge in here once you find forge in the installations go ahead and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button when you hover over forge and that is going to open a folder with a lot of files as you can see here we have so many files let's make this bigger and easier for you guys to see and what you're going to do now is look for a folder called mods m o d s as you can see i have my mods folder in here now there's a chance that you don't have a mods folder like for example i'm gonna delete mine there's a chance that you might not have a mods folder here all you have to do is right click click new and then click folder and name that folder MODS mods. You could create the mods folder yourself in case you don't have it. And what you're gonna do next is drag and drop Optifine into this folder. That simple. Just go ahead and drag and drop Optifine into there. Now that you have Optifine in the mods folder, go ahead and close this folder, head back to your Minecraft launcher and click play on Forge. Click that you understand the risk and then click play again. I'm sorry if you're hearing my dog in the background playing with a toy. It's just they, they, they want to play. You know, I have two dogs and they want to play. I'm gonna try and not uh, make any cuts in here just so you guys see that I don't have any crashes or anything because I have gotten comments in the past saying Forge is not working with Optifine. I know it wasn't working before, but it is now because they got updated, okay? Uh, Optifine got updated. It wasn't a Forge fault. It was an Optifine fault or not really their fault. Just, you know, the Optifine team hadn't updated the game or the, the mod to work with the newest version of Forge. But now it is. And as you can see, we actually opened the game. And let me go ahead and take off the resource pack that I have. I was making a video on how to add resource packs to Minecraft earlier. So that's why I have resource packs. But I went ahead and took them off. And let's go ahead and launch our world. Just so you guys see, we have Forge down here. And if we head over to single player, let's launch any world that we have in here. Remember, if you want to use a multiplayer server, you can use the first link in the description for 25% off with Apex hosting. Now, let's go ahead and wait for this to load. And there we go. We're inside the game and we actually have shaders. How cool is that? We have shaders because I already had shaders in my video settings shaders tapping here i already had shaders added um and that's it we have optifine working with forge as you can see this is the forge version of minecraft we have optifine working of course we have the zoom in if we want to zoom in and yeah now you could add mods and optifine using forge in minecraft 1.20.4 i hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to leave a like and a comment and as always bye bye